No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. Hey, this is Charles Hayne. I'm here at NAB Show 2018. This is for uh, No Film School After Dark. I'm here with Ted, because we usually don't do night videos. Hey, what is going on? And we're going to talk about an unannounced light. This is not a publicly announced light. This is not an official announcement. Yes, indeed. But it physically exists, yes. so tell me about it. Absolutely. So this right here is Aperture RGB. Now, a lot of people have been asking us, why hasn't Aperture come out with RGB yet? Why haven't they come out with RGB light? Well, right now we're showing a fully functional RGB light that can already do everything that's on the market. We can do RGB already. This is about the equivalent of a 500 watt tungsten light, can do the full spectrum. It'll do it just as well as every other aperture light. Now, what we're trying to do, though, is that we want to do something new. We've been thinking, what's the next step for RGB? We don't want to do what's already out on the market. So what we have is we have the aperture color picker. Introducing the aperture color picker. Now, the aperture color picture, what this will be able to do is I will be able to grab colors in real life, either other lights or reflections of lights. So basically, I could walk outside, I could shoot maybe a nasty fluorescent or a street light tungsten light, and I can capture those colors, and my light will be able to recreate it. Now, currently, why is this unannounced? It's unannounced because we're still working on it. However, what point are we at right now? In terms of points that we're at right now, and just for No Film School, because we love you guys, the point that we're at right now is that we can currently capture colors, and we register the data, and we have the color data right now. At this point, it's just getting the light to recreate that color data. However, we have it. We're so, so close. However, we don't want to release it yet because we don't have an announce announcement date, and we don't have pricing or anything like that. But we just want to answer all the people out there. If you guys are asking for RGB, we can do it. We're just waiting for something a little bit better, and we're so close. We're so well, yeah, close. but I mean, beyond that, this is the application we... So I, I just have to tell you, every lighting manufacturer we talked to today, I've said, all right, Illuminati is out there, Asensec is out there, they're sending you color data, can I sync it up with your light? So if I'm doing like a day exterior shoot, yes. I can read my ambient light and then keep my key light in matching to that. Exactly. And everyone's been like, we should think about that. So this will do that. Look, we listen to feedback, we're constantly getting feedback. One of the things that we got was that the hardest thing to do is to match native sources that are out in the world. And if you can go out and just shoot a tungsten light and immediately it'll be the same tungsten light coming out of your fixture, that's the dream there. Now, let's talk about dreaming though. Beyond that, in, be, in addition to being able to just pick solid colors, I could also shoot this at a television screen, and I could have my light in real time, recreating the same light of that television. In addition to that, I could shoot this at a sunset, and I could have my light fade and get more tungsten and warm and straw as the day goes on. And in the future, if we're dreaming and we're talking about what the possibilities of a light like this are, we're talking about something where we'd be able to record a sunset and replay that sunset. Where we could record a TV, replay that TV. Where we could actually send that data, not only at this fixture, but because this fixture has DMX in and DMX out, we would actually be able to take that color data and send it to another RGB panel. For instance, like an RE Sky panel, we could capture that data, send a TV flickering, and send it right along to another panel. What else can you tell me about it? The power draws, you're saying it's equivalent of a 500 watt tungsten, so it's pulling, what, 100 watts? It's approximately 100, approximately 80 to 100 watts of power. So single V-mount battery? No. Uh, so basically, currently we do not have a battery mount on this yet. This will be something that will be built in later. Again, we're just showing an RGB panel that is completely functional and can absolutely change all of my hue and information that I need here. So you can see, I'm currently splashing on the ceiling. We have a fully functioning Aperture RGB light. It works. We have it. We're ready. We're holding back for something better. And we're asking our users to be patient because we're coming and we're working really hard on it. For No Film School After Dark 2018 at NAB. Um, an unannounced light. This is not. We don't have a release date. We don't have an announcement date, but it's coming out soon. But it physically exists and we can touch it. All right, everybody. Have a nice night.